because the voices of people from Smelter Town have not been included in the historical record, um, I think that that people were eager to to share this and and to um, you know share their experiences and and um, and have their history told in, in a way that that kind of. Uh, was honest, but also honored the place where they had lived and, and grown up and, and spent generations. Um, you know, th that was one of the, the more difficult things, was finding source material for a place that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> um, but, uh, it, you know, it sort of came together in, in little pieces. It was almost like, like doing a, um, you know, kind of an investigation. I felt very much like a detective sometimes, you know. There were leads that I would get that would uh, end in nothing, complete dead ends. And there were others that would open up this, this whole world, um, you know, or even just a, a very brief uh, sort of passing reference would end up, you know, turning up some, some really interesting things. So, for example, I, um, you know, had mentioned my research to, uh, to a friend of mine at work. You know, I was working as a, um, as a copy room clerk at a law office in, in college and I, I had mentioned this to her and she said, you know, my grandmother lived in Smelter Town and you should really talk to her. And so I interviewed uh, this friend's grandmother. She um, ended up being a wonderful interview. She, at the time, was in her 90s and was an incredibly um, energetic woman, still had a very, very sharp memory. Um, and she told me these amazing stories about being a child uh, living in Smelter Town on the banks of the Rio Grande during the Mexican Revolution, um, and and you know I, it was just priceless to be able to um, you know have her tell in her words what it was like to be there, um, and a, and a real honor to then be able to you know sort of honor her and her story and her experience um, in in this book. I decided on um, you know making and remembering a southwest border community because both of those elements were important. It was about how these people made a social world for themselves, um, you know, through their daily interactions with one another, through their experiences on the job and in the schools and, and in the church, um, and, and how they built that for themselves and, and made a community in a particular place and time, um, but then also how and why they remember this place long after it disappeared.